many years, it's been a no-brainer. Want a good quality dive watch for almost nothing? Buy the Casio MDV-106. This budget beast, also known as the Duro, has a robust steel case, a full 200 meter water resistance rating, and relatively good finishing, meaning it outperforms virtually everything in its price range. In recent times, under the MDV-107 designation, Casio even added new color variants to what was originally a rather simplistic design, meaning there's probably a version now that will suit your preferences. It might fit your style, but unfortunately, there's always been one thing that the Duro may not fit. Your wrist. You see, the Duro is a pretty huge watch. Now, it's not unusual for dive watches to be large, but at just over 44 millimeters wide, this has a massive wrist presence, and for many people, it just wears way too big. Functionally too, it's never comfortable wearing a watch that's too large for your arm. For a long time, that's been the narrative around the Duro. It's a great watch, but I wish it weren't so big. Why can't they just release a smaller version? Well, recently, I caught wind of just that, a more compact 38 and mm version of this legendary watch. Now I understand a lot of people were hoping for a 40 mm option, but 38.5, could that suffice? To find out, a few weeks back, I bought one from an eBay based watch dealer who was the only UK seller at the time. It's probably available from more outlets by the time you're seeing this video, so I'll link it down below if you're interested. Unfortunately, while Casio has cut the sizing, they've cut several other corners along with it, which you should definitely know about before pulling the trigger. Straight out of the box, I realized something was afoot with this new MDV-10. When side by side with other small watches, let alone the original Duro, this watch looked tiny. After some quick caliper work, I discovered that this watch is way smaller than advertised. I'm not sure where this 38 and mm listed size has even come from, as this watch actually measures in with a case size of only 36 mm, with a lug to lug of 41.7 and a thickness of 10.5 mm. With the crown, it's 38.9, and with just the guards, it's 38.1. In essence, this is a 36 mm Duro, despite what the listings indicate. What really stands out, though, is the bracelet. This bracelet is minuscule for what's supposed to be a men's watch. I believe the MDV prefix is for men's dive watch or something. The lug width here, though, is an already small 16 mm, but the bracelet tapers down to just under 14 mm, meaning the clasp is cartoonishly tiny even on my thin arm. Now, this will probably work better on female wrists or in certain markets where the average wrist size is far smaller, such as Japan, where this company is based. But despite the compact nature of this MDV-10, I think an 18 mm bracelet, or at least one that didn't taper, would have looked more proportionate. So Casio wasn't super clear with the sizing. Hypothetically, let's say this watch fits you. How does it stack up versus the original? Is it worth a buy? Well, this hoodie certainly is from scametti.store. You know what to do. As you'd probably expect, this downsized option has a fair amount in common with its bigger brother. The dial has fundamentally the same design, sharing the same dark gray sunburst and arrow equipped handset. But the new MDV-10 forgoes the raised chapter ring in favor of a simple printed one, which probably makes sense when you're trying to reduce the size of the watch. Additionally, the markers look the same, though they do house a different colored loom this time, though that unfortunately hasn't resulted in improved low light performance, it still isn't the best by any means. The case too has a near identical shape and finishing, which has always been a Duro strong suit. This is a good looking, affordable watch and there's no denying that. I guess the main visual change, aside from the size, is the removal of the fish logo at the bottom center. A quick side note, this was always said to be a marlin, but to me, this is surely a sailfish, right? Especially the engraving on the case rear. I mean, just look at the shape of that dorsal fin. Am I seeing things? Fish aside, this icon was already removed on the MDV-107 re-release of the Duro anyway, and it's the accompanying text that's of much more concern. One of the boons of the original Duro is the high water resistance. You might call it overkill, as most users are never going to reap the full benefits of this 200 meter rating. Nevertheless, this, combined with the screwed rear and threaded crown, completely nullified any worries about the watch's aquatic competency and overall durability, something that definitely can't be said for the majority of affordable timepieces. Unfortunately, this new MDV-10 doesn't even get close, with a measly 50 meter rating. Now, in terms of the typical wristwatch designation, this basically equates to two tiers lower. If you've watched my watch buyer's guide, you'll know that a 50 meter rating, while reasonable for most watches, 
isn't nearly as performant as it sounds, meaning it's more of a dive style watch than a truly submergible diver. While Casio may be underpitching this watch's competence, like some of their old school digital watches, it's clearly not as capable as its predecessor. The screwed rear, sounds rude, but yeah, that's been replaced with a snapback. The screw down crown, that's gone too. You're now resigned to a standard push pull one. In a similar vein, even the bezel's been downgraded. The original Duro models had a surprisingly satisfying 120 click bezel that sounded and felt great for the money. Sadly, the new 36mm version has been left with a tinny feeling 60 click unit that suffers from pretty severe backplay. I mean, have a look at this. This bezel is at least aligned properly. <laughs> Seiko. <laughs> However, it's yet another indicator that this watch has been built on a far stricter budget, or they've just really struggled to translate it down to that smaller size. If they have saved some money, perhaps some of it has gone into the bracelet. After all, this steel band probably costs more to make than the resin strap fitted to many of the MDV 106 and 7 models. Well, in some ways, I kind of wish they hadn't. As I mentioned earlier, it feels feeble and light. It also comes with those annoying push release links where you have to hammer out a section from the inside to remove them, which can be a huge pain in the ass. While the brushing on it matches the case quite well, I'd have just opted for a resin option just for the sake of comfort and security. Maybe we'll see one of those later down the line. Frustratingly, given the rare 16 mm lug width, you'll also have quite the time finding viable replacement straps if you feel the same. The vast majority in the market today are 18, 20, 22, maybe 24 mm The cherry on top is that my unit actually died after filming. Yeah, the ticking just suddenly started seizing up, then it went back and forth, as you can see, until it eventually has stopped completely. So it must be something to do with the Miyota movement inside. I haven't even managed to properly water test this one yet. Yeah, not the uh, most durable duro. If you're someone with super tiny wrists and have been looking for a cheap dive style watch to match, this may be worth it. Nevertheless, this isn't the duro I've been waiting for. Unless this MDV-10 retails for maybe a third less than the bigger version, I can't see it shaking up the affordable sector in any meaningful way. Admittedly, it is just as capable as most other brands at the original Duro's price point, but unlike the original, it doesn't have them handily beaten. For a more interesting Duro alternative, make sure you subscribe right now because I'll surely be featuring a really underrated Casio gem. Either that or check out the video on screen now about a solar-powered Casio diver that you've probably never heard of. In terms of ratings of this new Duro, I'm going for a 6 out of 10 in terms of value, and then for a style rating, it gets a 7 out of 10. It's fairly nice, but what a shame.